What is up, dorks? We're back again on top of the zombie villager farm that I created a long time ago. It is now defunct. It does no longer work. created this to get villager librarians to get enchanted books, and that system completely changed shortly after I made this and made this farm completely useless, but I built a nice statue here. But we are talking about villagers today, and that's because I have a villager breeder that I built uh, way over in that direction, and I want to finish it. It never got finished. It, it was assembled, uh, the first half of it, and it's a super speed villager farm. Uh, probably about 10 or 15 villagers a minute. It's it's more overpowered than you even need it to be. Um, just a way to to get villagers out pretty quick. So there it is. You can see it's unusual looking. Uh, the dirt's not supposed to be here. Uh, this f farm was basically developed by a, a YouTuber, Minecraft YouTuber, YouTuber old guy. Um, and he built it for somebody else and uh, the way it is you just stuff a bunch of villagers in there and put a clock on to feed them potatoes constantly when you flip that switch and then they spit out babies probably about 10 every minute and those babies when the dirt's not here will fall down here and they will be stuck in here, ripped from that village, and they will be raised as peasant villagers. And I was going to put a system in where they exited here, came up here, and were transported in the nether to somewhere else. So I'm going to have to break the nether portal that's up there that I used to use and bring it down here, put a rail system up, all that stuff. And I'm gonna do that all today. We need all these villagers for new farms. Like an iron farm. Matter of fact, here's my old iron farm right here. Really, really old iron farm. I haven't had one since. Um, these villagers are still in here, nice. Um, this is super old, doesn't work anymore. This is like one of the first earlier designs of iron farms. And uh, all these villagers, uh, they even have professions, that's weird. Any case, this one's going to be torn down also. Not in this episode, probably, but um, that's my plan when I get the villager breeder up and running. Is that we can make this our main transport breeder and then farm them out to other places around the map where I need certain farms. And that's what we're going to work on today. Here's my old crafting area. I used to send them out to the nether here. Um, let's actually see where this goes. I don't remember where exactly it comes out to in the nether. Let's see. Oh, hello. Wait. Okay. Going back. Okay. Right, is there another side? Nope. Uh, let's see. Where am I? Uh, yeah, these are the old walls. I transported them. Kind of herded them. In one direction. Oh, I see. Yep. And here. Ooh, okay. Guys, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Yep, this is close to where I built the, built the Wither Skeleton Farm. Just right around the corner. A very dangerous area. Oh boy, I aggroed the wrong people. Ok, 
Okay, now you can see why we need to build a new path and a covered path at that and relink the portal. So let's do it. All right, first things first, I need to get these iron golems out of here. Not really sure. Maybe I'm just... Yep, that works. Don't get mad, bro. Don't need you up here. Thank you. Uh, I gotta get rid of the dirt. Up, pink cat. Hi. Oh, the iron golems are still down there. Cool. All right, let's turn this thing on. There's love in the air. Yep, love is in the air. There we go. Now, will they, will they? Where's the babies? Show me the babies. Oh, there he goes. See that? Woo! Where's the baby? There's another one. Man, he just shoots him out. All right, let's turn that off. You guys don't need so much food. Uh. Yep, there he goes. Yep, it still works really well. You guys done? Oh my god. How many do we already have? Oh goodness. Let's get rid of all this dirt so we can see. Okay, we got four. <sighs> okay. It definitely works. So that part, that part is, is working. That's a very simple part to build too. Uh, the only hard part is getting the, the villagers up there. Um, once once you got that um, them in place and drop it there's another one. Oh boy How long are they gonna keep breeding for? Once you got that in place the rest is just the transportation so Yep, okay, well Interesting you're about to grow up are you really? All right, so I'm gonna have to add another piece of glass or sand or something underneath the blocks so they don't kill themselves. Seems like they want to kill themselves easily. Um, yeah, let's fix that and then we can get to work on the transportation system and getting them out of here and growing them up.
All right, I have a little symmetry here. I have it all hooked up. I think the mechanics work. Just need to see how the villager babies react to getting in the thing. This is the problem I knew I was probably gonna have where they just don't even want to go over there. That's right. Cool, cool, bro. <laughs> the little hop. Okay, that took way longer than I thought. Um, let's see if the minecart picks them up and rattles them out. It did not at all. Oh, it did that time. Rattled out, yep. Yeah, this will work. Thanks for the demo. Come on, Zambi. This way, Zambi.
All right, it's all set up. Looks like we are good to go on beginning the transportation. Now we gotta find a place where to send them to. How about here? This looks like a good place to send a villager, right? I'm right now at build height. Thought maybe the first place to send a villager was at build height so I can do a trade and get that trophy. Um, I'm gonna, I already linked the portals. I already did the path. Now I gotta just uh, set up the ejection system and get a villager in here. So I link the paths. I have a standard level that I want all my nether paths to go. So I'm slowly sort of building my nether network here. Um, but we need an ejection system. So when the villager gets over here, he's ejected immediately into the portal. And that should be pretty easy to set up. Um, maybe. So if I come around, maybe... Bring this boy around like this. I think. Um, I can do activate a rail there. I, think I gotta go through there and. making love okay that should be enough I should at least get one out of there there we go going to trade with come over here buddy come over here I got something for you that's it come on over here you don't want to come over here why It's like he knows the water's flowing over there. It's okay, bud. It's okay, just go over here. Alright, where'd you go? It's okay. I gotta work on that system. Bloop. Flush down. Alright. He's grown up. Let's launch him and chase after him. There we go. Got him. Should be in the drop hole because he got scared by the zombie. I didn't see it scared yet. Okay. Okay, there's something to do about that. fingers.
That worked. Hey, buddy, let's go up. Let's go upstairs here. limit. Well, let's see if I can get another one. Let's fall all the way from build height to ground floor. Turns out I did get the trophies. All it was is my notifications were turned off. And what we're looking at here is the measurements for phase two, which we're going to get started on mining out everything we need to mine out in a time lapse. So here we go. Favorite time of the day. So satisfying. Well, now for the top side. As you can see here, I made a little template. I know it doesn't look like much. It's kind of hard to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Well, let's find out. Here we go.
Just making some concrete. Making concrete. Yep. This is wonderful. Now I gotta harvest my concrete. We got a good crop this year. So if you guys have been seeing this thing and wonder what it is, this is my old trading hall. And this was very early days when the villager breeder was right there in a little glass case and then I just transported him right to here and it's my first trading hall. It does not work at all and all the vendors eventually just despawned even though they were tagged. So. Time to tear it down now. I need this space, so let's take it apart. So there's the roof design. Uh, I saw this design on a, I think, Fricky and Bicky. Uh, there's some Minecraft YouTubers. Um, very talented. But they <clears throat> made this deep slate roof that looked really nice and I thought I'd try it out. It, it looks really good on here. It really makes it look like it has like tiles. All right, well. Let me finish up the rest now. All right, this is gonna end it. I have spent more time than I expected to on this project, but it's now come to a close and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna be moving to more of a bi-weekly video from now on. Uh, a lot of these projects are taking more time than I thought I would ever spend. Um, and I'm trying to balance my work life and my play life uh, so and my family life so it'll be now bi-weekly bi videos and I'm gonna shoot for Wednesdays as the release well I hope you enjoy 
and see you later dorks